Hello, I am Girish Kishnani. And you are watching, 5-Minute Learnings. This is the fourth video in the series on intelligence, today we shall learn about Robert Sternberg's theory of successful intelligence, also called the triarchic approach. Conventional views of intelligence favor individuals who are strong in memory and analytical abilities. As a result the individuals who may have the talents to do well in life may be labeled as unintelligent, whereas some of those labeled as intelligent may not have what it takes to succeed in life. There are many definitions of intelligence, although it is typically defined in terms of a person's ability to adapt to the environment and to learn from experience. Sternberg defines successful intelligence as one's ability to set and accomplish personally meaningful goals in one's life. Given one's cultural context, according to Sternberg, intelligence cannot merely be defined by IQ tests such as the Stanford Binet scale, rather, it should be defined in terms of how you perform in your everyday world. Sternberg refers to what he calls successful intelligence. People who are successfully intelligent are able to define and achieve their own idea of success within their culture. They are skilled at adapting to and modifying their environment to fit their needs. Because your intelligence is highly dependent upon the culture that you live in, an individual that is considered intelligent in one culture might not be considered so in another. There are three components of successful intelligence, analytical, creative and practical intelligence. It is not enough to possess these components, one must also know when and how to use these components in order to be effective and responsible, that's where wisdom or emotional intelligence kicks in. Analytical intelligence, have you ever been told that you're book smart? That's a compliment about your analytical intelligence, also known as componential intelligence, is your ability to solve problems, process information well, and do well in school. They usually excel in IQ tests, school and college exams in subjects like maths and quizzes, critical thinking, analyzing and evaluating information carefully, looking at problems from different angles, considering multiple perspectives to understand and solve issues. Creative intelligence, it is about using what you already know to deal with new and unusual situations. It is sometimes also called experiential intelligence because it involves drawing from past experiences. People with strong creative intelligence have great insight, they use their imagination and come up with original ideas. Unlike analytical intelligence, which is often measured by tests, creative intelligence is harder to assess and is often overlooked. Practical intelligence or contextual intelligence, also sometimes called being street smart, is about using what you know and your creativity to handle real-life situations and achieve your goals. Here's what practical intelligence involves, adapting, changing yourself or your approach to fit new or challenging situations, shaping, adjusting your environment, or the way things are done to better meet your needs, selecting, choosing the best strategies or actions to achieve your goals. In simple terms, Practical intelligence helps you make smart decisions and solve everyday problems effectively. It's about applying your analytical and creative skills in practical ways to succeed in life. Wisdom or emotional intelligence, it is the sense to know when to apply which ability to achieve our goals in our own community, while ensuring that our ideas will help enrich our community and even the world we live in. The sub-theories in Sternberg's triarchic approach to intelligence have three types of mental processes, meta-components that enable us to keep track of, control, and assess our mental processes to make better decisions, solve problems, and prepare for the future, performance components that allow us to put the plans and decisions made by the meta-components into action, and knowledge acquisition components which assist us in gaining new knowledge that will aid us in carrying out our plans. Sternberg's theory of successful intelligence, though, iterates practicality, has been the subject of several criticisms and challenges throughout the years. Educational psychologist Linda Gottfredson, for example, claims that the theory lacks a solid empirical foundation and that the data presented to support it is not adequate. That's all on the theory of successful intelligence from my side. In the next video we will learn about Raymond Cattell's theory of fluid and crystallized intelligence. Hope you found this video useful, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, 5 Minute Learnings. 
and do remember to hit the bell icon to get notified of the new videos. Thanks for watching.